popping people it's Dante walking around Rome beautiful day it's actually uh, a bit more overcast so I actually I you know I like this kind of life for black and white photography having an overcast day is quite nice um, but yeah I was thinking about mythology you know become a myth all pink no shoes you know and I walk around this like fashion district where everyone's sort of like dressed to impress whatever they they're staring at me Right, everyone else is just following a trend. I feel like you can see the same person like five times in a row, like dressed the same way. It's like everyone's got sunglasses on. Um, <laughs> I kind of like this whole like monochrome aesthetic I've sort of adopted recently. I've got like seven different outfits where it's like just bright clothing from Lululemon. Fits really nice. Medium shorts, five inch shorts. Uh, medium shirts, dry sense, I believe is the type. And yeah, they're just super comfortable. They dry easily, um, you know, they, or they stay dry, right? Like you can, you don't really sweat in them that badly or whatever. Yeah, it's just nice. Um, makes me uh, feel confident and bright on the streets. The anti-emo aesthetic. That's the uh, sort of thing I'm trying to cultivate here. Um, and yeah, it's like, uh, it's interesting to have your mode of living, your ethos, whatever that may be. What are your values? What do you believe in, right? Do you believe in miracles? I was just drinking from a miracle fountain, or a miracle well, rather. I drank some holy water in a church. I mean, you'd be surprised the things that you can find when you're walking around these streets in Rome. And uh, yeah, it makes me feel at home, right? I may be uh, Dante of Philadelphia, but perhaps this could be a second home. And I find that... Being a dual citizen, yeah, it only makes sense to try to ground myself and to dig deeper with my ideologies, with my philosophies, with the way that I am existing in the world itself. Um, as a Catholic, this makes sense to me. Being in Rome, I feel like I'm in heaven. I can go into either church on whatever side of the street you can just pick, right? There's like churches on every street. And uh, it just feels really nice because you know, I find that while we live in a modern world and, you know, not many people are of faith, not many people pray, um, you know, it's kind of like this new thing, you know, God is dead, you know, it's like nihilism is kind of run, running the world, maybe. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different time that we live in. Um, and for me, I'm just speaking as like a young man, you know, there's not much community for us. You kind of just gotta, gotta like, uh, toughen up and just like stick to yourself I think most of the time because once you start to mingle and socialize you realize that most other people are doing some sort of drug or alcohol or you know whatever else there may be nowadays like you know just casual sex whatever and it's like I find that it's much more virtuous to just uh, focus on oneself nowadays honestly and that's the sad truth and I don't want it to be that way, right? I'd, ra I'd rather have some sort of friendships that can go in depth with, uh, you know, and, and, and sort of like philosophize and like have some sort of conversation that isn't, you know, just base level about whatever the sports game was or, you know, whatever. And it's like, yeah, the only friends I really have are my two friends from when I was born, essentially, from when I was in kindergarten. And uh, yeah, I'd say from grade... Uh, pre-k to grade eight while I was in a Catholic school. That was the best time of my life in school. High school, college, psh, the hell happened from there on? It's like, yeah, the structure and everything kind of just like falls out the window after grade eight. Maybe the Amish are onto something. You know, the Amish, they, they stop at grade eight and they, they go and work. You know, they seem to have a community. They seem to have something going for them, you know? Uh, maybe the Amish are right, right? Maybe the Amish are right. Maybe Dante's wrong. Who knows? But all I know is that I go with the flow. I go slow. I observe all the details around me. I'm aware of the connection between my mind, body, and soul. I'm grounded. I'm digging deeper with what I believe in, right? I'm digging deeper with uh, my sort of journey, my purpose in life, and things like this where my identity is becoming less about me and more about the community as a whole right my body doesn't belong to me i'm merely uh, created in the image of god and treat myself as a sculpture 
I enjoy fasting. I enjoy walking long distances. I enjoy being out into the, in the physical world and creating something out of nothing with my camera. I enjoy sharing my thoughts. I enjoy thinking. I enjoy exercise. I enjoy lifting weights. I like to read sometimes, but for me, I find there's more wisdom on the streets. There's more to learn. There's more to do. There's more music, you know? Life is outdoors, right? This is freedom, being outside. I don't want to be trapped indoors. I hate sitting down. I can only sit down for so long. Sitting down for more than two hours makes me feel sick. But when I'm outside and just observe life, yeah, just let it ride. Look at that, is that a lion? Oh, oh, sorry. Is that a lion? What is the myth? Didn't, didn't, uh, didn't Hercules, like, kill a lion with his bare hands? He strangled a lion. It's pretty badass. What did David do? David had the, uh, the rock and he killed Goliath, defeated Goliath in battle. Puny, puny David, big Goliath. What does that take? Courage, heart, faith. Ultimately for me, faith is courage, I believe. And courage is freedom. And having this sense of fear be removed from your life where you no longer fear death, but recognize that you have complete control over your mental state, over your emotional state, where you can be without fear. And through this practice of recognizing your connection to the earth and to the other people, to the plants, to the animals, to the cosmos as a whole, you find yourself feeling whole and at peace in this blissful state where joy perhaps is the goal perhaps it is the goal to smile and to be happy um i think that it's not that uh it's not that it's not that bad to just smile you know it's like no matter what is uh going on just to be joyous and uh, be playful and to not take yourself so seriously I think is a good thing uh, you know I think it's a much more interesting approach for my life and what works for me and you know I like to joke and not be so serious a lot of the time and but I do like to think and you know, I just think that the world is just kind of at a different place with the advent of technology, we become so disconnected and connected at the same time. We're so in control and out of control at the same time, where we allow the telescreens to sort of act as a cancer and to infect the culture at large, perhaps is uh, the reason why I'm typically uh, feeling this way kind of disconnected. Maybe it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing maybe to detach yourself right just detach just wander skip to your own beat i dream i dream most of, like most nights i have dreams like actual dreams like i'm not just thinking like oh dreams of the future like i dream i dream and that's good enough for me, for TV. You know, I don't need to watch TV. I don't need to look at your screen. I dream. I can imagine. 